Um, but not me necessarily. Um, <laughs> algebra 2A, unit 2, um, essentially review for assessment 1. So when you watch a video, and by that I mean when you don't watch the video, um, that's what you're skipping. Uh, do this for two minutes. Any, um, any, any two of these, attempt to figure out maybe the next two numbers in line. Okay. Um, these are sequences, obviously. Um, try and figure it out. If you can't figure it out, see what your neighbor has. All right, and we'll cut right there, and then we'll come back. 40, and what's the next guy? 40. All right. Boom. Over here. Um, one, three, or four. I'm going to speak up for the whole group. All right, you can pause it now because, you know. For now, what you got, one? Negative 39 and negative 50. 39, negative 50. Since I didn't look at them, I know these guys, but they're times four. What is, what is, what is this thing? Uh, 11. They're adding it? They're multiplying it? Subtracting. Whoa, that's sweet, delicious. Dang, some people don't know negative 11 minus or rather negative 28 minus 11, you kind of add the numbers and it becomes a bigger negative. This is like borrowing money. I borrowed $28 from my brother. That's me, my little sister did. Then she borrowed another $11 from me. And now she's mad at me because I want my money back. And it's not $11, it's $1,450 that I gave her. I saved lunch money for like about five years, but now that I'm doing good, I'm in this big house, I got cars, and everything's a pattern. They kind of know that. Ooh, these yellow things over there, okay. Uh, mark a um, sequence. I don't you get circle and stuff. Sequence, um, set of numbers. Ooh, yeah, yeah, circle, set. Back in the day when I was a kid, um, gangsters would come up to you from, which means, you know, you blew the part. Uh, underline sequence, circle, set, order, and pattern for a sequence. You can have an arithmetic uh, sequence or a geometric. Under geo, we're going to put multiply a number, multiply a number. And arithmetic, we can put add a number. Even though number sign means now hashtag, which I don't know how to do yet, but one day I'm going to learn. You can do it with Instagram, I think you can do it with... Oh, it's the same thing. Uh, each term is determined by adding a constant value to the previous term. Oh, this actually is sort of important. So, in English, uh, each term is determined by adding a constant. Adding a constant to get the next number, um, term, the next number in line, you add some number to it. You can add four, add four, add four. This constant value is called the common difference. In other words, the number that you keep adding over and over, com uh, common difference, and the letter they use for that is D. Geometric sequence, which is the kind that I think is going to be on your test, yeah. Uh, also, let me put exponential because I'm going to use that word exponential. In a, in a geometric or exponential sequence, uh, this is the same thing as that, each term is determined by multiplying Oh, yeah, it was plus 11, minus 11 the last time. The bottom was times 4, I think, for that other group. Um, multiplying a non-zero constant. Ooh, I like that talk. At some point in your life, say non-zero constant. What does that mean? Like a number, regular number, like a 1, 2, 3. Those are non-zero, they're not zero. Constant, like 2 is 2, 3 is 3, 4 is 4, they're constant. A non-zero constant. So um, the next time the guys go to a club or to a place where you have to approach, and you roll up on and you're like, hey, 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 hey. I don't know if you're going to call her baby. I'm a, a dumb cousin. Four, common ratio. That's not a B, that's an R. Um, and there you go. All right, let's see what's on the next page. Um, how many have we done so far? Are we still in like, just the beginning or are we like, moving along? Uh, to do or not to do. What to do, not to do, not to do. Three out of five, three out of five, different whether. Okay, because you're a medium, you're an average kid. Or you're like, uh, math has never come good to me, I'm gonna just try one. And so the other people don't know who you are, just write random stuff on the other four. They'll think you're working on it, but you're not. Of course, they may ask you a question later on. How'd you get that? Like, what? 17? That would make sense. Here are the instructions Determine whether each sequence is arithmetic or geometric. That's easy. You just add the same number each time. If it messes up, then you know it's not arithmetic, and if it's not arithmetic, it's automatically the multiplied version. So if I'm doing number one, I'm going to add a number. Whatever it takes to get from 23 to 17, anybody know what that is? 23 to 17, you subtract some, oh, six. six. Yeah, yeah. Then you subtract another six here. If it works the second time, you're a winner. If it doesn't work the second time, you can stop. It's automatically not arithmetic. 
because it has to work every single time. Uh, I feel bad about the fractions to scare kids. Um, I just put that in a horror movie. The Revenge of the Fractions. Some dude with like a fraction on his chest and he's like, um, what you done for? John, John, John. D, what type of sequence is it? A. A. It is an A. And again, technically, I'd want you to put D equals negative 6, as in the common difference is that negative 6. Um, all right, um, hey, C. What you got? See what you think. A or A or G? Front row, say again? G. Uh huh. And uh, what's the common ratio? What's the R? What are they doing to get to the next number? Uh oh. Give him some backup. Don't First leave him alone out there. Eight. And to get to the next number. Oh. Is there neither up there? Hmm. Just turn the next number to me. And that's bad news. The minute it switches to that, that's no good. Alright, we'll come back to that one. He might be a Harvard, and I know if you're a Harvard. Hey, D, what you got? A or, a or G? G. Alright, what is the common ratio? Two. Uh -huh, times two, times two. Alright, um, we'll come back to the C. Somebody uh, looking on C and see if we can get some backup on that one. Uh, nonetheless, E, what you guys got? A or G? A. Alright, what what's the common, um, the common difference? 14. Adam? Yeah. Okay. Now some people are good with patterns. If you're good with patterns, by definition, you're automatically good in math. Whether you choose to do the math or not, you have an advantage on other kids who can't see the patterns. That's all math is. See, it's 1.5. They're multiplying by 1.5 or they're yeah. dividing? So it's never getting bigger? Multiplying by 1.5. Now how is a kid going to figure that out without a calculator? You know what I'm saying? I just no, no, I'm saying, it's, I'm saying it's good that you did, but I'm, I was just thinking, like, some people may have been trying it without a calculator. How would they have figured that out? So I guess these are calculator problems. Um, thank you. Thanks for the backup row. Four, what you got? I mean, now B. A or G? G. Yeah. Now, here's the good news with the A or G part. You know, here, if it was an A, you'd subtract six. When you subtract six from a two, you're not going to get a one half, so you can automatically know, like, look, I only got two choices. All I got to do is eliminate by subtracting twice. Either it's going to work twice and I win, or it's not going to work twice and I lose. I switch over to the G. Um, since it's G, you're either going to be multiplying or dividing by the same number. Uh -huh. Well, you know what? Something's up. Divide by two and a half? Divide by two and a half? Oh, right, right, because you divide by 2, 8 turns into uh, 4. 2.5, 2 and a half. And I guess if you've done the calculator, I mean, technically I'd want you to do it as no, a fraction. No, you divide by 4. Yeah. Yeah, you divide yeah, by you 4, and then you get 2, and then you mm -hmm. get... She says 4. It's okay, four. yeah, yeah, okay, I see that. And I may ask about the 2 and a half. Um, now, anyone who doesn't see these, again, that was supposed to be hard. My, the idea, if I, what I want you to walk away with is... Um, the common ratio is going to be 4. If at least one of them you know what you're trying to do. You're looking for a pattern. You know if it's multiplies to G, subtract as to A. That's the thing. Whether you forgot the particular one, they can make one hard when none of us can figure it out. Or they can make them all so easy that everybody here figures it out. So don't stress on that. Anyone know how to turn on the air? I'm going to pause there and go to the next thing. Might not Unit one, or rather unit two, lesson one. The other one that I started off with, the harder one, was actually lesson two, so we're backing it up a little bit, though. Some of the information we learned on that one still is helpful and applicable. We're switching number on this one here. Uh, in any case, uh, calculator. Put in uh, y equals, f of x is a new name for y equals. y equals a negative, you have to use it by the uh, y three, negative one fourth. You got to put negative on the outside parenthesis, one divided by four, close parenthesis. The parentheses are above, I think number two and three, or they're above the, okay, above who? Eight and nine? nine? Above eight and nine. Negative, open parenthesis, one divided by four, close parenthesis, then you hit X. X is to the right of green button, then plus 12. Once you do that, uh, you can go to table, blue button table, also known as blue button graph, and then you will see a table. When they put this eight in the place of the letter F, 
This is saying go to the table and find the 8 on the x side. The partner will be the answer to this problem. I'm going to go through with you a second. I just did the fasting for the people who are super or whatever. Um, the other part will be down here. When that 3 is alone, the 3 is not in the place of the x. You're going to do something different. Why is he saying that? Because students all the time, they do the easy one. They get the second one, they do it the easy way, but it doesn't work the same on that second line. So, um, pause it for now. Um, so, what do you try to do? The slow version? 8 equals 10. What that means is, this function here that we call f, we call them g, we call them like um, r, it doesn't matter, this is just the name on the left. Never do work on the left. Some students will try to do something over here. This is just the name. It's over here you do the work. When x is an 8, when x is an 8, this whole problem that we call function equals 10. You can get a freebie. That'll be on the test. Punch into the calculator. Um, find the table. Hooray. Here's his brother. His brother's a little bit harder. Mm. Notice the difference between this problem, A and B. A has no equal sign other than the one I put in. B has an equal sign. Notice here, the 8 is trapped. Uh, uh, oh, the F is giving 8 a hug. Yes, let's hug an 8. You see that? Down here, uh, G wants nothing to do with 3. Like, look, 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 look. You're my, this is what she would say, you're my brother's friend, but we're not like that. Or guys would say, you know what? You're cool, but I don't like you like that. Oh, that hurts a little bit. 3. This whole G of X is going to be replaced by a 3. What the heck is he talking about? Here it comes. 3 equals... Everybody on the other side. You do this, I want to give you points. If it's worth two points, I'm giving you one just for writing that. You put three in the place of X, I hate you. I can't hate you, I'm a teacher. <laughs> you didn't record that, did you? <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. I don't mean it clearly. Uh, we'll have to destroy that. <laughs> well, here goes, uh, how do you actually solve this one, though? Oh, this squared is going to make things terrible, so I'll do it really fast. Plus five, plus five. You got an 8 on this side equals a 2x squared. Uh, get rid of the 2, you do the inverse, you divide by 2. You wind up with a 4 here and that x squared. Everything else is baby work except for that x squared. Let's find out. Anybody know um, how to get rid of a square? What do you square. 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 No, stick it away. Way to go, Brian. Yeah. Were you guys in Brian's class last? Yeah. Anybody was in Bonnie's? Yeah. Yeah. Way to go, Brian and Bonnie. Send the best of the best. Keep the rest. Um, there are two ways to think of it. You can go this way. The square root, um, they cancel each other leaving just the x. The square root of 4 is just a 2. For those who don't know square root, they just ask the question, what number times itself will give you the number inside the house? Oh, 2 times 2 will do it. Square root of 16, oh, 4 times 4 will do it. Couldn't you just put in the problem in and put 3 on the y axis? You could. I tried that back in the day. I didn't get it.